Hey guys, Mike with EverythingAboutConcrete.com. This video is going to be about pouring concrete for a small basement floor. This is a pretty typical pour for us. This, we do a lot of floors like this in Maine where it's a, it's a full 8 foot wall tall foundation. Um, a lot of houses built in Maine have full foundations like this with a basement. So we have to pour over the wall like this a lot. If you guys are new here, if this is your first time watching me, my name's Mike Day. I specialize in pouring concrete floors like this. And we also do all kinds of other type of concrete flat work. So if you like concrete, go ahead down there and hit subscribe now. I come out with a couple videos a week, usually Monday and Friday. So hit the little bell notification and you won't miss a video. So as you can see, we're, we're pouring right over the wall. We're using a 12 foot concrete chute that's hooked onto the, the truck chute. We didn't have very good access to this. We could only get to one spot, so we had to pour the whole floor from that one spot. But that using that chute makes it pretty easy. And you, as you can see, the floor has got a vapor barrier down, a plastic vapor barrier, and it's got two inches of styrofoam over the top of that plastic vapor barrier. We got reinforcement that's in the concrete. It's called fiber mesh. And I'm using a 3000 PSI floor mix on this. In the summertime, that's a pretty standard floor mix for us. So this is, like I said, this is a pretty typical concrete floor pour for us. We, a lot of times we will have to use a chute. And now what we're doing is we're using a, what we call a tremi. Um, it's got a little hopper on it. You can see that hooks to the end of the chute and with a little, kind of like a little rubber bag on it. And that just makes pouring the, over the wall a little bit easier. The concrete doesn't splatter quite as much. It doesn't have to drop quite as much. So it's it's just like using a conveyor truck almost. We'll get most of this concrete poured out. This foundation was about a 30 by 28 basement. So, it, I mean, it's not huge as far as we're concerned. It's a pretty small one actually for us. You can see Darren right now is in the middle shooting a, a wet, what we call a wet pad. So I, we got a laser set up and that grade stick with that receiver on it is set to the exact height as the outside edge where we have a red chalk line snapped and we, that's what we magged the outside edge to with our the little tool that, that you see us magging the edges with is a, called a mag float. And this is what we use to screed off from. We used uh, the magged edges and then that, that wet pad in the middle. And that's what the guys are doing right now is they're, they're striking that center pad and now they're just screeding the concrete using those wet pads. And this is how we screed concrete. This is how we level it to get it level. It's called kick screeding. How many of you guys out there kick screed like we do? Two guys on a rod like this kick screeding. And then uh, also, how many of you guys just screed by yourselves? We don't typically screed by ourselves unless it's something small, um, you know, like eight feet or under. Then we'll we'll screed with just one guy. But most of the time, if it's a 10-foot screed or bigger, we'll have two guys like that. So Abby's going to bull float that for us. Um, Abby does a real good job bull floating. And the guys are going to finish pouring out the concrete on the other side and then we'll get that screeded so let me know I'm, I'm going to be coming out with a with a business course guys for those of you who want to learn or or start your own business doing just this concrete floors concrete flat work stamp concrete i mean i started out doing this when i was about 19 years old i didn't really know what i was doing i knew how to do the work but i didn't really know how to run a business now 40 years later I got a pretty good idea of what I'm doing. Um, so for you guys that are either working for somebody or you're in a job that you don't really want to continue doing and concrete is something you think you might want to do, I'm going to I'm gonna develop a course that helps teach you guys how to start your own business doing this. Um, th there's really a lot you need to know that I didn't know. You know, you got to know about if you need to be incorporated. You got to know if you need an employer identification number. You need to know things like taxes, how to pay your taxes, if you need payroll, uh, how to keep your accounting, and I can help you with all that stuff. And then, you know, invoicing, estimating, how to run a business, how to, how to be profitable. I mean, that's obviously the most important thing is, is how to make a profit 
and make money doing this while you're while you're paying your employees and you're paying yourself so it's you know in order to be in business 40 years like i have you gotta you know i've got that figured out i've got it figured out pretty good so i could help you guys with that let me know you know i'm keeping track of some of you guys have been commenting about that on some other videos so you know comment down in the comments if if that's something that interests you or not so the guys we've got that first half screeded bull floated now they're working on the second half now and it usually doesn't take us too long to pour a, a basement floor like this i mean it might take 45 minutes from start to finish to get it, the concrete dumped out get our edges all magged get the wet pads get it screeded get it bull floated and uh so something this size 30 by 30 30 by 28 typically around 10 and a half 11 12 yards takes about 45 minutes maybe a little bit under and you can see we got a little different view this is this is what we call the, this little piece sticking out of the foundation is called a bulkhead where we're from what do you guys call that we call it a bulkhead so this piece is going to be sticking outside of the house and it usually has like a small tapered metal top to it that goes on top of the concrete wall and it's got a door to it that you just open the door and walk down the stairs you know the carpenter the builders will build a set of stairs inside this thing and you walk down into the basement that way so it gives you access from outside the house and most of the houses we do have a, what's called a bulkhead like this but i wanted to slow this piece down into real time to show you the slump we're using so the slump I mean it looks fairly loose it's prob that's probably about a seven inch slump and slump is you know how wet or how dry you pour the concrete when whenever I order concrete I always order it with a water reducer in it and the water reducer allows us to pour a loose slump like this without affecting the integrity of the concrete or the strength of the concrete so we can pour concrete pretty loose you know typically we'll pour a six inch slump this might be a a little bit on the loose side but even at a seven inch slump um, it doesn't affect the strength of the concrete so something just simply flat like this it's okay to pour something this loose I wouldn't really want it any looser then it makes it kind of hard to bow float but uh, we use a water reducer in the every single mix we, we use whether it's a floor a sidewalk a pool deck we put some amount of water reducer in just it helps it make it more workable I mean when you pour concrete every single day you don't want to be pouring concrete that's really dry really hard to pull around and hard to screed so the water reducer costs us a couple bucks extra a yard but it's it's well worth it in the long run you see Darren's finishing up there in that bulkhead he's uh bull floating that now he's gonna mag float his way out that's a mag float that little hand tool he's got and then he's gonna jump out the ladder and when he jumps out the ladder he's gonna take his footprints out with that that come along you see right there that rake he'll just kind of flatten them out using that so that's it guys that's basically how we pour a basement floor and you know let me know down in the comments if if you got a basement floor to pour if you're going to try to do it yourself or hire somebody um, and i'll see you on the next one